Chicago, Illinois is the site for this afternoon's matchup between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Chicago Bears. AFC versus NFC as kickoff fast approaches, Phil. Well, we have two teams that don't know each other very well. And when you don't know each other very well, you play cautious. And when you play cautious, you don't play as well as you should. So it should be a high-scoring game. Ryan Suckup ready for the kickoff. Nickel formation here for the defense. The formation here, shotgun. Almost intercepted that time. When you play man-to-man -man coverage, it takes a good throw and catch. That time, neither was there. Another incomplete pass. Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. Makes the grab and keeps the ball moving down the field. That's a first down catch. I love seeing the post route against defenses that are up there being aggressive, trying to stop the run. You go down the field. How about that? Stick that foot into the ground, make that break at 10 yards, and run right down the middle of the field on that post route. Now in rhythm, the quarterback drops back to throw once more. And he is tackled at the 14. Well, this early in the game, to watch the opposing offense march down the field and get inside the 20. This keeps the defense, uh, they might be shaking a little, but if they stop them here to a field goal try or worse, that'll get their confidence back. Looking to go up top again on first down. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. That's a nice route that time by the wide receiver running the corner route, and the quarterback just throws it too far and misses him. The Chiefs come out in the nickel. Second and ten, challenging the defenders to the right side. He steps out. Good play call that time by the offensive coordinator. Down inside, when you're inside that 20-yard line or the red zone, find ways to complete the pass. They did that time. Offense lines up here. This is a screen play all the way. The tackle is made short of the first, and that'll bring up fourth down. Fortes lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Let's go. Looking to the right side and throwing. Touchdown, Chicago Bears. Nothing like having a quarterback who has a good arm who can, who can just fire that football into some tight spots. And then it helps when your receiver has got the talent and the courage to go in there and make that tough catch. Head on, right there at the 20. Woo! 
on first down. From the eye, they give it to the deep back. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Offense lines up here. A second and three. It's handed to the running back. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Nice job that time. The run play gets the first down. You move those chains. Hey, it's kind of fun to watch a team tough enough and patient enough to run the football to get these first downs instead of throwing it all the time. And he is brought down at the 39. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Alex Smith will take it right from the center. It's a second and four, and Davis is taking the handoff. Driving ahead for four. Excellent job of just picking up the first down. This offense is hot. Another first down, and they are moving down the field. First down here after the run. Davis going to take the handoff now. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. That's a bread and butter play by all offenses in the NFL. Get a few yards and get that first down. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Davis has got it on the handoff. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stop him for a short game. Second down. Let's go. Back to the ground. And they tackle him down at the 37-yard line. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. And they'll run the football with Charles. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. Good run that time. It results in a first down, and it moves those chains on the sideline. Keep those chains moving. Tire that defense out. Welcome back to the action. Today, it's been all about the defenses. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. What a run by Charles. That's a nice job blocking by the offensive line and a really good job by the running back. Seeing the proper hole, gets up in there and picks up big yards. That long game sets them up here on this play. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. They hand it off to him again. This is where on a defensive side, where you have the lead, the team's driving against you, call something different so you can come up with a big play and stop the offense. What a drive this has been. Second and goal from the seventh. In zone bound, and he's got the touchdown. There's no doubt about it. When you score like that to tie up the game, it shifts momentum. And it's all up now to the offense of the other team to get back out there and get the momentum back on their side. The Bears are ready to return the kick. Spins away from the tackle. Matt Forte lined up in the backfield. First and 10, Matt Forte got a little crease, got the first, and he's got some space. No one's going to get him now. Good job on the ground there by Matt Forte. After that long run, that running back deserves a break. Go over to the sideline, let a few guys pat you on the rear end and tell you how good you are, and then get a little oxygen and get back in the game. What a run. 
The offense Let's back go. to the line Let's of scrimmage go. after going for more than 40 yards on the previous play. First and 10. On the run, eyeing that left side. The defense doubled up on that one. Well, these are the kind of throws in the NFL, Jim. You just take for granted that if it's open, you are going to hit it. But the quarterback makes a big mistake, leads the receiver too far to the inside, and it goes incomplete. Second down after the incompletion. There's some shifting around in the backfield. Snap back to the quarterback, out of the gun. Gains 17. Uh, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, a double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up and make the catch. When you have a defense that's not playing good techniques, they're selling out, overplaying plays while you run the counter runs to counteract what they're doing on the defensive side. Mark Tressman was an interesting pick by the Bears in the offseason coming over from the Canadian Football League. An unconventional hire, but you've known this coach for a long time, and you think this could be a very good choice for the Bears. Well, I have followed his career for a long time, Jim. Very successful offensive coordinator in the NFL. Wanted to be a head coach, so he goes to the CFL, the Canadian Football League. What does he do up there? He won. He wins two great cups with the Montreal Alouettes. Now, ball's picked off. He's brought down. Most NFL linebackers, they're borderline good enough to be a running back, and they got the hands of defensive backs. Here's a good case. What a fine catch on the interception by the linebacker. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. First and ten, Jamal Charles carries the football. They get to him just in time, one yard shy of the first down. Second and short, following the run. Running back, gets it on the handoff. They pounce on him there. Nice job that time by the ball carrier, getting it just past the first down mark. Big first down, keep the chains moving. Phil, one of the big stories this year about the Chiefs is the new regime here with Andy Reid now, the head coach. Yeah, Jim, change is good sometimes. You know, Andy Reid in Philadelphia for so long, and it's like the town was tired of him. The players are not listening. Now he gets a fresh start in Kansas City. And Andy Reid's track record speaks for itself. He's a pretty good coach. Well, you're right when you talk about Reid. Tremendous track record there in Philadelphia. So many years in the playoffs, one time to the Super Bowl. Now he comes to Kansas City, brings in Alex Smith, and he's ready now to bring new life to this franchise. Yeah, and, uh, and they're starving for some victories out there in Kansas City. So I know the fan base, the organization, the players all got to be excited because Andy Reid is taking over. So that, that's a big thing for the team. So you got a motion on your side. Now just get that team organized a little bit. They do have some hidden talent. It should be a successful year for Andy Reid. He gets it again on this drive. Big gainer there by Jamal Charles. Oh, we got us a nice drive going here, Jim. Another first down. They are just making one solid play after another and just marching down the field. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Davis called on once again. I think you got to be a little more creative in the red zone than this. When you just line up and run the football like that, you're not going to get a lot of yards. And that time, they just got a short game. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. 
They motion the receiver around to the other side. Second and eight. And they beat it to him again. Going to lose yards here. How about the defensive line? Getting that penetration, getting off the football at the snap, and getting it done, getting in the backfield and making that tackle. Now third and ten following the run. Catch is made. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Smith will keep jams it across the goal line for the touchdown. If the defense is not going to play for the quarterback sneak, then make them pay for it. Take advantage of it. That's what the offense did. The quarterback took advantage. Chiefs getting set for kickoff. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. First and ten, Matt Forte gets it here. And for about six. That does it for the first half. Bears trailing this one. We're back here now in this one, where the Chiefs are leading by seven. That kick came right at him, and it looks like the receiving team has recovered. First down coming up. The third quarter begins with this play. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Second down here. Davis is handed the football. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Good job by the offense picking up a first down there. They've been terrific all day long. They're winning the football game, and they are tiring this defense out. First down here after the run. Davis going to secure the handoff. He's in the clear. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. First down following the long play. Charles has got it again. The Chiefs are in the end zone for the touchdown. Well, that was just an awful job, wasn't it, by the defense? I mean, it's first and goal. Well, you know it's going to be a run, or I think you should be playing run. The defense not ready. They get overpowered, and they give up the running touchdown. Ryan Suckup ready for the kickoff. They stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. Three, three. The defense comes out of the nickel. Let's go. One in the air. One in the air. First and 10. Thought about it, still has it. 
Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field, and my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. Cutler's back in shotgun formation. Going across the middle. Incomplete. Nice job that time by the wide receiver on the post route. He's open, but the quarterback throws it too far and misses it. down on the way. Catch is made. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third ball, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Matt Forte lined up in the backfield. Gets away from the pressure. The ball's on the ground. They recover their own fumble. Good piece of tackle. Well, the defense always says, let's call some fumbles. Then when you cause it and you're not able to recover it, that is one emotional letdown. The Bears all bunched up here as they get set at the line. And he makes the catch just past the first down marker. I like this. Show some patience. Don't try to get it all in one play. Pick up first downs and try to go down the field and score. Forte's lined up directly behind the quarterback here. They're going back up top. Working that left side. That catch gives them a first down. The offense picks up another first down and extends this drive. They are, Jim. They're marching down the field, and I give all the credit to the offensive line. They are dominating the defense right now. Makes the reception. Gain of 17. Well, anytime you're in the red zone, you want to punch it in and get that touchdown. If they do that, look, they still, they're still going to be behind, but it gives them confidence moving forward. They've got a first down now after that catch. Wasting no time. Here's the toss to the outside. So many things you can do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Well, we're anxious to hear the full story on that injury. Let's go down to Danielle Bellini with the story. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Bears team official. Jay Collar's injury seems to be relatively minor, or at least it's minor enough that he'll be back on the field shortly. Matt Forte lined up in the backfield. Let's go. Out of the gun. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Knocked away incomplete. This is where games are won and lost. Once an offense gets down the red zone, even though they're down more than seven, can you find a way to punch it in there for the touchdown and not settle for a field goal? About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. Third and ten. Drops the pass. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. The Bears come out in a bunch set. running away from the pressure. Brandon Flowers picks off that pass. Ball is out, and the recovery is made by the defense. Linebackers nowadays are so talented. They can just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run, but how about this interception? Good job, good reading of the quarterback, and a nice catch. First down here. The quarterback will hand it off. Tackle at the 18. Coming up, second down.
and they'll give it to Jamal Charles. Slashes to the left side, gains five. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. It's third down coming up. Let's go. Davis is taking the handoff. That's been the story of this game. Another third down conversion to move the chains. They're able to move the chains after that last run. And they go back to the ground. Going to be a tackle for a loss. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. 15 minutes to go. And we'll return after this message and a word from your local station. Two tight ends. Final quarter underway now with this snap. He's into the open. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is, I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. First down and 10. Gets it again here. And here he goes. Boy, after watching that long run, I'm winded. That was a nice job by the running back. Good job up front, sustaining the blocks. The offense has got to be happy with that. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Gray's going to take the handoff now. Tackles made. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block. And then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get in the secondary and make a big play? Gray's got it on the handoff. When you have an offense like this that just keeps getting first downs, not only are they moving in scoring position, but they're giving their defense a lot of rest. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. He'll stay on the ground on first down. Able to make the tackle about two yards shy of the first. An off tackle run, it's a staple of all offenses in the NFL. And a general rule is you run off the right tackle because he is the power tackle where the left tackle is the pass blocker. They've come out in a dime package. Second and two as they go ground here. Gains nine. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. You're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Play after play after play here on this drive. Halfway through the fourth. And it's knocked down. Good job by the linebacker. Just watching the quarterback read his eyes. He made the move at the right time and he knocked the pass down. Mounting a serious drive. Second and ten. Handoff out of the eye formation. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. The long drive continues. Third down and six. Throws the pass. That pass was hurried. <laughs> 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 
chip shot here. The kick is good. Again, that was a good job that time by the defense. They were bending. They did not break. And all they did was give up a field goal. And the flag comes out. That ball, again, not traveling 10 yards, and what are they thinking over there on the sideline? Well, they're thinking this is why everybody hates kickers. Get the ball down there 10 yards. My gosh, kick it 15 yards. We'll still recover it. Just a, just a terrible mistake. Forte's lined up in a single back formation. First and 10. And he's taken down. Well, you see it all the time. When the offensive line can't stop the defensive pass rush, then you have your running backs hit a defensive lineman before they go out for the pass. We've hit the two-minute warning in the second half. Matt Forte lined up in the backfield. And incomplete. I think this is one of the easier throws in the NFL. Don't make the mistake throwing it up the field. Throw it across the field so the receiver can run to it. That time, the quarterback leads the receiver way too far on the post route. Third and long. Interception. And he's brought to the ground. Well, nowadays, your linebackers, they got to be able to do everything. they got to be big enough to get in there and stop the run and also athletic enough to be able to get in position and make an interception. Good job by the linebacker. First down Let's here. Let's go. Jamal Charles now cutting to the right side, looking for some open space. Has some space to work with. Going to take it the distance. And in for the touchdown. When you have speed at the running back position, you can take ordinary plays and make them spectacular. And that's what they did this past time. It was an ordinary run, but the running back got a little daylight and able to outrun everybody for the long touchdown run. The Chiefs now will tack on the extra point. Makes the PAT. The Bears are ready to return the kick. First down, offense ready for the snap. He'll throw it over the middle. The defense had that one covered. This drives coaches crazy. They get a wide receiver open down the field on a post route, and what happens? The quarterback just overthrows it. Offense lines up here. Second down and 10. Scrambling out of the pocket. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field. And my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. He brings it in here, and he's got the first. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line, and sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion by him. First and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Danielle's got an injury update for us. Let's go to her now. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. Guys, I just spoke with a Bears official. They're saying he was trying to play through an injury sustained earlier in the game, but now what's happened is that he's even more banged up, so they're taking him out for good. When you talk about the play-action pass game, it's really when you call it. 
you got to be in a situation where the defense is thinking run, and when they are, do you have the courage, or I should say the smarts, to fake the run and throw the football. Good call that time by the offense. Nice job that time by the wide receiver on the post route. He's open, but the quarterback throws it too far and misses it. The Bears at the line of scrimmage with their set of receivers in a bunch formation. To Marshall. A takeaway. In on the stop. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. They face first down. And they'll run the football with Charles. And that's a gain of 10. Well, it's, you know you're just getting dominated physically when the offense just runs the football right up the middle. The middle linebacker and the defensive tackles just have to be better. 